Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to change eye color in Adobe Photoshop. So I've opened up my photo of an eye in Photoshop. And from the layers panel at the bottom, we can create a new hue and saturation adjustment layer. And you'll see the properties panel appear and we can adjust the hue. Now you'll see this affects the entire image. We're just going to focus on the iris. That's the colored part of the eye. And you can adjust the saturation to remove the color or make it a bit more vibrant to the absolute extreme as well. So let's set that back to zero. And you can adjust the lightness as well. So darkening or lightening the image. You can also select the colorize box and just drag the hue through the entire spectrum and this will apply a color effect to the whole image and again you can adjust the saturation and the lightness as you like. However for this tutorial let's just deselect colorize and return everything back to zero. So at the moment our iris is blue if we drag our hue slider to the left moving towards green you'll see that the color changes slightly, a bit more towards the turquoise kind of color. And the eye at the bottom of this panel will let you just toggle that on and off. So ignore the pink skin around the edge here, let's just focus on the iris. We have the color that we want, and we can go back into the layers panel, and on the mask of the hue and saturation layer, we can select the fill tool, and from the color picker, select black. The hex value for this is 000000. 000, 000, 000, 000. Click OK and just fill the mask with black. Now we can select white as our foreground color, select our brush tool, and just pick one of Photoshop's default feathered brushes from the top. And set the hardness to zero so that it's nice and soft. And again, with the mask of the hue and saturation layer selected and white as our foreground color, we can now start to paint in the mask. And you'll see the color that we changed on the adjustment layer is now coming through. Now we don't want to go and paint the rest of the person's face or pink because we're focusing on the iris. So we've effectively changed the color of the iris here by masking it off. And we can turn that off and back on again. But what we can also do is if we press X on the keyboard to swap our foreground and background color, we now have black as our foreground color, and we can paint back into that mask. Remember, you can use the left and right square brackets to increase and decrease the size of your brush quickly. And because we're using a nice soft feathered brush, as we're left clicking now, where our blue meets our kind of green turquoise color, it's very, very soft and they blend nicely into one another. So let's just turn that off and back on again. So you can see it's a really gradual blend from blue to green turquoise. And you can also play around with the blending modes. So we're on normal at the moment. We can select overlay and it will blend this adjustment layer into the background image and you can get some quite creative effects. So it's definitely worth having a play around. Let's try and lighten. I think we'll go back to hard light for this one. And then you can, of course, adjust the opacity. So there we go, zero opacity. And let's just bring that up. And let's leave that about somewhere like 70, I think. Now we can also create another adjustment layer. And this time we're going to tick colorize and we'll have some sort of pinky purple color and we'll bring up the saturation. Now, as we did before with the mask selected and black as our foreground color, just select the fill tool and fill that mask with black. So this will hide the effect. Then select white as your foreground color and again our feathered brush. And we can just start to paint in another part of the eye. So really subtle. Now, as you can see here, I've painted outside of the iris. We don't want that. So we just have to press X on the keyboard to swap our foreground and background color. We now have black as our foreground color. 
and where we've gone outside of the iris we can just paint this away very carefully just around there and again you can see that we just removed a bit too much purple then so we press X on the keyboard and I'm going to reduce the size of my brush quite considerably now remember that's the left and right square brackets on the keyboard and I'm just going to very carefully paint this back in just so the pinky purple part of our iris has that glow around the edge rather than the blue one and again we can zoom out we can pick a blending mode depending on how we'd like to blend these colors together or we can leave it set to normal and just bring down the opacity slightly just so it's a little bit more subtle and there we go that's how you can change eye color in Adobe Photoshop as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.